Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Okay, we're back again with another video where I might get a little bit of flack for saying such things, but let's talk about it. Yesterday, I made a video on stone fruits and how I think they're a little bit overpowered. And yes, I still think they're overpowered. Anyways, let's touch base on another item that I think is overpowered. Meatballs, okay? Let's be honest, meatballs are very overpowered. They literally require any type of meat and three filler of any kind to make. Now, why and what makes meatballs overpowered? The sanity is not the best and the hunger, sorry, and the, the sanity is not the best and the HP gain is not the best. The hunger is where it's at. Basically, by taking three things of ice and one meat of any kind, mind you, it depends on what it is, will give you actual value of a meatball. Now, in this case, you're act you're going to be getting yourself a handy dandy meatball. So you might be thinking, well, guess what? We got to keep the recipe pretty simple, right? But it is possible that we kind of reduce what you receive from this. So let's hit up in a little bit of creative mode, shall we? All right. So we go in and we're going to make ourselves a little crock pot. So we make ourselves a little crock pot. Let's make ourselves a fridge just to look a little fancy, shall we? Okay. We give ourselves a few different things. Let's give ourselves some ice because everyone is going to get a million ice and don't starve together as it is. Next, let's give ourselves a morsel. So let's go ahead and do that too. Or I think we can also just give ourselves frog legs because that actually is the same idea. Next, let's give ourselves some berries just so we can mess around with some more recipes, right? All right, so now we got some berries. Next, let's give ourselves some, did I give myself a morsel? Oh, sorry, I, don't, I don't know why I didn't give myself a morsel. I think it's called morsel. It might be called small meat or something, mini meat. I don't know, they always have like weird names. Is it meat morsel? I don't know, it's, it's meat something. Is it just meat? I think it, maybe it's just meat. Nope, that's big meat. Let's see, morsel, DST. Why the wiki is so awesome? DST wiki. Sorry, I never usually, I never, I never go off of. It is small. It is small meat. What the heck? Okay, Steam score give small, small meat. It is small meat. Ah, I type, did I see meat small? Anyways, okay. And now we inter are going to interact with our crock pot. So, here we go. We're going down the, the realm of how to make a million meatballs. So, let's just talk about that. So, the value of eating ice, basically nothing. 2.5, 2.3 hunger times three gives you what? Like, let's just say seven to round up, okay? So we have seven hunger in there, and then we go ahead and we toss in a little morsel. Yes, this is what I'm talking about if you decide to toss in a morsel. You're not going to get the value that you would get, of course, by making a meatball. And Clay tried to kind of rectify this by saying, look, if you get a morsel from killing a bunny or whatever, you're obviously going to come out with bunny stew. But bunny stew is actually good. So, if you do get rabbit stew, you might be thinking, oh no, I meant to make you meatball. But, rabbit stew, or bunny stew, gives you 37.5 hunger, but 20 uh, HP. That is pretty damn good. Especially when getting a morsel is like super easy. Especially if you're running around and killing a bunch of birds with a slingshot as, as Walter. Or if you're just literally capturing a bunch of bunnies. However, if you take a morsel and you put three berries in there, now you're cooking with a meatball. 12, and then you take that, so you're talking 42.5 essentially with that, but if you cook it up, now you're getting 62.5. So you're getting a bonus of basically 20 hunger. Okay, why am I still talking about why this is so overpowered? This is why. Meatballs have become such a staple where everybody can just make meatballs to just stuff their face and within two meatballs you're basically at almost full hunger. The reason why this is a little bit overpowered for me is the fact that you can survive off of meatballs and essentially pierogi or any other healing food in abundance. In the world of Don't Starve Together, I do think that Don't Starve Together needs to eventually have a way to really test your limits of survival. As of right now, if I can just run around and make a bunch of meatballs or stuff my face with a bunch of ingredients like avocados, aka stone fruits, and then have a periodic healing ingredient like a pierogi and just have that on repeat and rinse and repeat that, yes, it does take some ingredients for me to make them and get those ingredients. However, if I'm able to mass produce these things and then survive continuously just off of these where the point where basically I have so many meatballs that they begin to go stale, 
I think it could stand to have a little bit of a change. Do I think meatballs need to be reduced for hunger? Perhaps. Maybe instead of 62.5, we now see 37.5 and maybe a drastic increase in just, you know, a little bit of sanity. That way, you're kind of looking at yourself and saying, hmm, it might be best to kind of think about something different, you know, like a honey ham or whatever else, or bacon and eggs. Things that will revolve around actually making your character cook something other than just meatballs. But then you're just transitioning over to bacon and eggs. So what is really the solution here? Because of course you can say goodbye to meatballs, but then there's multiple other recipes that can basically take its place. So what could we do and don't serve together to change this? Well, if you're familiar with War with Worley at all, you know that Worley has to eat something different every time they're actually eating, otherwise they're gonna get annoyed at the food values that are at hand. This is something that could be taken into consideration for Don't Starve Together. Perhaps I want to consume one meatball. But then I go to eat a meatball again, and now my, my hunger value has been divided by two, because my character obviously wants more of a, pre a different diet. So, kind of similar to Worley, but in a way that it's not so punishing to new players. So for example, if I eat an entire stack of meatballs, I will gain as much hunger, and perhaps within a day that values can reset, basically making it so every single day I can eat one meatball, but if in the same day if I decide to eat more than one, well guess what, it's probably not going to be in my favor, so I need to transition into a different little bit of stuff to make sure that my actual, you know, I guess, repertoire of different ingredients and things that I'm going to be making become more, you know, out there. Basically encouraging people to cook different meals other than just sticking to the same meal all the time. Do I think that Worley's actual abilities need to go over and transition to every single character and copy and paste? No, but I think that we can kind of learn from Worley just a smidge and perhaps change Worley for the better. I like Worley and I think Worley's a good character, but because of that ability and them being the only character in Don't Starve Together that actually has that basically nerf, it hurts a ton because you look at that and say, why would I want to play a character that can't eat anything more than, you know, different food every day? But if every character has that flaw, well, now we're cooking for real reasons. Like, seriously, if every day and don't starve together, I had to look in my fridge and say, hmm, okay, what am I going to make today? Because my character is not going to like it if I'm eating meatballs the entire time. Oh, look, I have a thing of meaty stew. Let's eat that. I've consumed meaty stew. Now, maybe today I have to consume a bunch of berries by themselves. And even though they're uncooked, well, guess what? These are things that p potentially we could see happen and encourage people to cook multiple different recipes, thus bringing back the cookbook for the better. As I believe the cookbook was made to showcase a bunch of different recipes for players that want to try different, different things, but as of right now, unfortunately, there's really no reason to transition into a different diet and don't starve together, as there's really no perks behind it. There are other ways to do this. So for example, if you give your character the ability to eat one meatball, then they go over to a different recipe, perhaps your character will be satisfied and gain a little bit of sanity, basically say, encouraging you to eat different meals every day or something along those lines. Nonetheless, I think meatballs need a smidge of a change. I truthfully think overall in DST, lots of different things need a different, you know, food wise need a different change in order to encourage you, because especially right now, there's so much different food out there in DST where originally there wasn't as much available. So it needs to have that thin line that still makes you feel like you are starving and don't starve together. That's my take. I love the game regardless, but I thought I wanted to talk a little bit about this because I mentioned it in a stream the other day and somebody was like, you really should go off and just talk about it because it's really cool to kind of interact with somebody who has this opinion now mind you i still love don't starve together and i really don't mind if nothing gets changed but i could see something like this happen this is something that obviously is probably going to happen in the future from what i can gather but as of right now i don't think it's around the corner anyways you tell me what you think and i will talk more about it in the comments down below thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one